Mariah Carey is one of those artists who's been around forever and she's still known for her infamous voice and five octave vocal range. She's hailed for inspiring generations of singers as well as being a pioneer of pop and R&B music. Aside from that fridge in her video which apparently gives her great selfie lighting, Mariah lives in a mansion in LA with all the features. You would think a person with a fortune like hers would own a house but as far as I know she's renting at the moment. In this video we'll be giving you all the details of the palace Mariah calls home and much more. Mariah Carey is a singer, songwriter, record producer, actress, TV judge and more. Not to mention she's the mother of two which I actually forgot for a second. At the time of this recording she's 49 or 50 years old, there's actually some confusion to whether she was born in 69 or 70. I mean if Wikipedia doesn't know then who would? She's been dubbed Songbird Supreme by the Guinness World Records because of her special vocal style, her unique range and more. There have been few artists that could give Mariah a run for her money. I'm thinking nowadays maybe Ariana falls into that category. Mariah's music style is considered pop contemporary R&B as well as some hip hop but for the most part she sings about love. Despite her publicized breakdown back in the early 2000s, she was able to bounce back in 2005 with a new album which became the best selling record that year. Year. I mean, who didn't love We Belong Together? Miss Carrie is one of the best selling music artists of all time and was welcomed into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Among her many accomplishments, she's the most successful female in Billboard chart history and has won a ton of awards, including five Grammys. Of course, she's amassed a huge net worth over her long running career, too, which is estimated at $520 million. With that, you know Mariah lives in luxury. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I got some requests from you guys for this one in the comments, so today we're going to look at where Mariah Carey calls home, including her mansion in the hills and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Camila Cabello and Britney Spears, and we'll have links to some at the end of this. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. So before I show you Mariah's lavish rental house, let's look at her previous mansion. When she was still married to Nick Cannon, because who could forget that era, let's be real, the couple maintained a home in Bel Air. They got this house in 2009 for just under 7 million and once upon a time, it belonged to the late 80s poster queen Farrah Fawcett, who owned it for over 20 years. Before Mariah and Nick's split became super public, they were asking almost 13 million for the home. In the end, they sold it for 9 mil. Like I said, the home was located in Bel Air, which is a ritzy residence residential neighborhood in the foothills of the Santa Monica Mountains. After you pass the two entrance gates off Sunset Boulevard, you'll reach winding roads with massive mansions all over. Mariah's previous family home was a multi-wing mansion spanning almost 12,000 square feet of living space and designed in a Hampton style. There were six or seven bedrooms, six full baths, and three half baths. Inside, their design was a bit all over the place considering there was a Moroccan style room, an indoor basketball court that resembled a school gym, and even a huge indoor outdoor type room that looked like a log cabin. Apparently this log cabin room was named the Aspen Room and it was 32 feet long with stone floors, a massive fireplace, full bar and backyard access, made to be an entertainment lounge. Mariah and Nick had a double height foyer when you walked in the house, a games room, recording studio, home movie theater and of course more than one formal living and dining room. There was a master suite on the main floor directly beside the staff quarters, but there was also a second, slightly smaller one upstairs. The one on the upper floor had a large walk-in closet, terrace with views of the city, and massive bathroom. They also had an elegant nursery upstairs designed for the twins, which also had a walk-in closet, private bathroom, and balcony. Finally, outside Mariah's old Beller mansion, the estate was even more impressive. There were two gated driveways and motor courts with room for over 20 cars, a variety of gardens and patios, and moving to the back Back, you'll find an extra long swimming pool tiled with the ex couple's initials, something I'm sure the current owners revised. Some additional features include a brick terrace with sunken spa, grassy lawn, stairway leading to the hillside, and even a putting green. Post divorce, Mariah bounced around from a few properties. Eventually, in 2018, she settled into her current mansion in Beverly Hills. You already know this neighborhood is a celeb fave and all the houses are super posh and private. You need to be a somebody to live in this exclusive LA area. I was shocked to hear that Mariah actually rents this house out from a Saudi royal instead of owning it for a crazy 35k per month. 500 million dollar fortune or not, that would hurt anyone's bank account. 
To Mariah, this might be seen as a bargain though considering the Coldwater Canyon compound she rented prior cost her 100 k each month in rent. Anyways, if this house looks familiar, it may be because you've seen it before. Before Mariah moved in, the previous resident was none other than Nicki Minaj, her arch enemy they like to say. Mariah's mansion in the hills is 10,337 square feet and she has 8 beds, 4 full baths and 4 half baths. The home is peach colored and Mediterranean style situated in a gated enclave on 1.1 six acres of land, offering canyon and city views. There's also an additional apartment perfect for guests or staff. The two-story entryway is super dramatic, perfect for Mariah's taste, and it has super high ceilings. The winding staircase leads you to the top floor where most of the bedrooms are located. Mariah's master suite in this place is pretty impressive, providing her with not one but two bathrooms to herself and a private terrace. Everything in Mariah's Beverly Hills mansion seems grand, including the multiple living and dining rooms, huge family room, and contemporary eating kitchen, complete with a separate breakfast nook and fireplace. All of the arched windows and French doors in the home's design make the place look even fancier. Outside, of course, Mariah's home is securely gated and private, including the driveway, and there's a five-car garage and additional motor court. Definitely enough space for her to park her lavish cars, like her Rolls Royce and $200,000 Maybach. She has plenty of grassy lawn space on that one plus acre of land, expansive terraces, an outdoor kitchen, and of course a pool complete with a spa and fountains. Looking at Mariah's Beverly Hills estate, I can see why it's worth a massive 35 k a month. It's certainly fit for a queen. I just wonder if in the near future she'll purchase a spot in the area instead. We all know she can afford it. Mariah also owns property away from LA and none other than New York City. Way back in 1999, they were already reporting that she put down money on a penthouse triplex at Franklin Tower, a 17-story condo redevelopment that used to be the Corn Exchange Bank in 1931. Her place is in the ever-popular Tribeca neighborhood and apparently the main penthouse cost her $5.5 million. It said she also bought the $3.5 million full floor unit just below the penthouse. Splitting both together, she spent a total of $9 million on her New York home. Mariah's mansion-sized pet house in New York City is almost 13,000 square feet of living space and has 4 beds and 4.5 baths. In 2001, she got the place redesigned and decorated by Mario Buada. Mariah's place is full of glitz and glamour, and Mario said he used the Art Deco influence, which was from the architecture of the building itself. Her apartment has bronze limestone flooring and gorgeous chandelier in the entry hall. The living room doors are covered in silver leaf and painted in a leaf pattern. Her master bedroom looks fit for a queen and includes picture-perfect views of the city, a seating area, and her massive and specially organized walk-in closet. Mariah has also invited Vogue into this closet it before in the past and it's impressive to say the least. I'm not as casual as most people, but um, I, I, I guess I could be. I have a lot of different dresses positioned just because there they are. <laughs> Her home movie theater here has an aquarium on one of the walls too to give the feeling of a movie theater under the sea, according to Mariah's decorator. Either way, the New York penthouse is enough to make anyone jealous. I love the way she designed it so feminine and classy too. Besides the spots that Mariah calls home, she also spends a lot on her vacation homes. She used to own a house in Bahamas, bought it after she married Nick, and the couple lived there part-time throughout their marriage. The gorgeous beachfront property was 4,000 square feet of living space and had 3 beds and 3 baths, located on the prestigious Windermere Island. It was only accessible via private helicopter or boat and sat on 3 acres of land. I'm not sure how much Mariah paid for her Bahamas home, but she decided to sell it some years back and put it on the market for $5.5 million. She probably had too many memories with the ex. These days, Mariah prefers to rent some epic homes when she goes on vacation. For example, in 2016, she stayed in a mansion in Aspen, Colorado worth a massive $22 million, costing her ten dollars per night. More recently, even Mariah rang in 2020 in the Dominican Republic and posted a video on her IG going in the pool with her dress on. She was celebrating some milestones and brought along her boyfriend and her two kids. The home was located in the luxury community of Cap Cana and covered 40,000 square feet with a private beach, 9 beds, a pool, and the place was also fully staffed. If you're planning on booking a stay here, it'll cost you. Mariah paid 18 k a night. So now we've seen Mariah's luxury living situation including her palace in Beverly Hills that Nicki Minaj used to rent, her triplex penthouse in NYC and more. Which spot did you guys like the best? Personally, I like the design of her New York place. If it still looks like that anyways. Okay guys, now I'll read out some comments from previous videos. On our Oprah Winfrey house tour, Giraffe Love Girl said, I love the Colorado and Washington Island ones. I need to get a hold of her and Gail and convince them that they need a third wheel in their best friend situation. Those are my two favorite homes too, I was so impressed. 
On the same video, RM wrote, I read that Oprah recently purchased an avocado orchard because retail market prices are a dick. In my Oprah voice, hashtag goals, hashtag love it. I also got some requests for celebs like Leonardo DiCaprio's house, Ellen DeGeneres, and more. So keep your eyes out for some of the vids you guys were asking for. All right, guys, that's all I could find on where Mariah Carey currently lives, like her rental mansion in Beverly Hills and more. What did you guys think of her real estate? What did you like best? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat more and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!